So you're watching a basketball game. It was! Next! This is two producers. The name Play and Skills. I don't know what's going on. I'm looking every shot. I don't think that's possible. I'm doing it, man. Yeah, hey, you're doing something. So this is Play and Skills. We're in uh, Dallas, Texas, or Houston, Texas. I swear I do not know what part of Texas we're in. And I'm taking some behind-the-scenes shots for Smooth Magazine. So here's the lighting setup. I put an SB800 here on a pocket wizard. It's bouncing up to a white ceiling. There's one. Then there's a second SB800 here with a pocket wizard bouncing up here to the white ceiling. So I'm gonna step back a bit. So you can see the two lights are by the columns. I put the lights near the columns because I figure there's less chance of somebody running into this column. And if they don't run into the column, hopefully they won't run into my light. And these lights here are set at one fourth power. I'm on a Nikon D3. Shutter is 125 and 63, which is definitely going to give me some blur, but that's okay because the flash is helping to freeze the action. I'm at ISO 3200, and again, there's a pocket wizard on top here, and my 17 to 35 millimeter lens, which is one of my all time favorite Nikon lenses. So I'm shooting very, very close to the action. I'm going to show you where. So I'm done with the shooting. I just want to show this setup a little better. You know, the pocket wizards are great because if you put some Velcro all around the flash like this, you can Velcro the pocket wizard right on the flash, and it stays pretty good. I mean, look at this. It's not falling. Okay, it works pretty good, and then you can just fire away without really worrying about securing the pocket wizard. I want to show how I'm traveling with some of the items that I'm using today. You notice this bag is a regular knapsack. It's probably about a $30 or $40 knapsack. And this holds the lighting equipment in terms of three light stands are in here. Over here I have two umbrellas. And outside here, in this compartment, is where I would put one of these small donkey bags. And inside the donkey bag are the three clamps that connect the SB800s to the light stand. So three of those fit in one of these small donkey bags. And I put that in this compartment. And then I have three pocket wizards in here, which is another small donkey bag, and that also fits into one of these compartments here. And I can zip this all together in a standard knapsack. And you notice there's not a lot of padding. There's not a lot of padding in this bag, but you know, you're really not slamming into walls when you walk around, and I find you really just don't need as much padding as some camera bags give. And the same goes over here for this donkey bag, which I love this bag. It's a very small bag, and when it's empty, which for the most part, it's empty now, you can crush it pretty small, which is nice because you can stick it under a car seat or stick it under a table in a nightclub, or you can actually put it inside of a knapsack like this. But inside this bag, I can easily fit, and you know, I have to take the gear apart in order to fit it in the bag, but once I take these lenses off the camera, I can very easily fit two D3 bodies, 17 to 35, 50 millimeter, and 85 millimeter 1.4. I can put a 70 to 200 in this top compartment here. And again, not a lot of padding inside the bag, if you can see here. These dividers are very thin, but I find you just don't need the padding. SB800 fits here, and this front compartment is a small flash bracket. And in this compartment, on the subject of no padding, notice this two flashes actually touching each other and I find that that's really not a problem for me nothing gets broken traveling like this you have to be careful of course but it can be done